Okay. So this is uh, this problem is a little more complicated, but I find it more interesting because it requires you to do a few different things, and it requires you to know what to do as well. Okay. It says give the slope-intercept form of the equation of the line that is perpendicular to this given line, 4x plus 9y equals 10, and contains point p, which is 3 comma negative 7. Okay. Uh, if we're going to write a, an equation uh, of a line perpendicular to this one, we need to figure out what the slope is of this one, and then we do the negative reciprocal. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to take 4x from both sides, and we get 9y equals negative 4x plus 10. Okay, and then we will divide everything by 9 so that it reads y equals. Oops. Okay, and we get y, sorry about that, it was sloppy, but we get y equals negative 4 ninths x plus 10 ninths. Okay, and the only relevant piece of this for us is this. The line that they gave us when written in slope-intercept form has a slope of negative 4 ninths. So our slope that we are going to use is going to have a slope of nine over four. Okay, that is the negative reciprocal of the line they gave us. Okay, so. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take the slope that we know we need to use, 9 fourths, and we're going to take the point that they gave us, and we're going to write an equation in point-slope form. y minus y1 equals m parentheses x minus x1. Okay? And so we say y minus the y-coordinate that they gave us, the y-coordinate was negative 7, equals m, the slope, that we just figured out we need to use 9 fourths because that's the opposite reciprocal of the slope they gave us and times x minus x1 and the x coordinate they gave us is 3. Okay, so that simplifies to y plus 7 equals 9 fourths parentheses x minus 3. Okay, this is in point slope form. They want it, look, if you look up top, they want it in slope intercept form. So that means we have to write it in y equals mx plus b form. So we're not done yet. We're going to distribute that 9 fourths through. We're going to say y plus 7 equals 9 fourths times x is 9 fourths x. And... 9 fourths times negative 3 is negative 27 fourths, okay? And then we have to add 7 to both sides. I'm sorry, subtract 7 from both sides, minus 7, minus 7. And that will give us y equals 9 fourths x. And this is what we need to do here now. We need to calculate this amount, okay? So I'm going to do it down here on the left in blue. We already have negative 27 fourths. And we're taking away 7. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that in fourths. Because when you subtract, you need to, when you subtract fractions, you need to have a common denominator. So I'm going to subtract negative 7, but I'm going to do it in the form of negative 28 over 4. Because that equals negative 7. Understand? And now when I subtract those two, we're saying, okay, we have a co common denominator of 4. And what's the number on top? What is negative 27 minus another 28? That is negative 55. Okay? And so we can write that as the y-intercept of our equation minus... 55 over 4. And you can see that this is actually one of the answers down here. y equals 
9 fourths x minus 55 over 4 d. Okay? Um, and by the way, since they asked to give the slope intercept form of the equation, then right away, looking at these multiple choice answers, this is not in the correct form. So that's not going to be the answer, right? Um, if they want it in slope intercept form, you can't give your answer in point slope form like they did for A and C. So we already know that those aren't the answer. Um, but now we found out it's C. So that's how you do it. Uh, this one, this one is a bit of a, you know, multi-step thing. You've got to first take the equation they gave you and write it in a form where you can identify the slope, right? And then you say, since our line is perpendicular, whatever slope they have for this line, ours is going to be the opposite reciprocal, okay? And then you use that slope and the coordinates of the point they gave you to write the equation in point slope form, which simplifies to this. And then you have to convert it into slope intercept form by distributing the slope through and then taking away, in this case, 7 from both sides in order to leave it in y equals mx plus b form. 